Hey Al, how's it going? Guess what? The Waterloo Region District School Board is going to be doing a bird count. It's going to happen on Earth Day, which means April 21st. It's going to continue though until the 22nd and the 23rd. It's going to be great. What do you mean? People count birds? Yeah, actually it's really common practice. Lots of people will count birds just for fun. Sometimes though, if you record what you saw and when you saw it and where you saw it, then you can share that with scientists who can then use the data for something. And that's called citizen science. Sci what? <laughs> yeah, citizen science. It's when people like us go outside and we make observations. If we share those observations with a scientist, they get to pull the numbers, the data from a whole bunch of people together. The more people who participate, the bigger the project, the better the science. Okay, so you want me to count birds and keep track of what I'm seeing. Sounds easy enough. What's that brown one over there? Uh, that's good. Uh, I'm gonna need a little bit more than that. The one with the beak. I guess what I mean is like, I need something like some features, something about the bird. It's got feathers. Okay, so, so what I need are field marks. Have you ever heard of the S system? It's something that we teach our students, helps them identify birds. Okay, I get it. So that brown bird has several feathers and a sweet beak. What is it? Uh, no, 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 no. So the S system has five parts, all starting with S. So the first one is size. How big is the bird? Makes sense. The second one is shape, so this, the shape of the bird. Okay, like starling. Um, no, I wasn't really thinking that. I was thinking more like the shape of a robin is somewhat different than the shape of a hawk, or the shape of a woodpecker is somewhat different from the shape of a hummingbird. Okay, I'm going to try angle to get an idea of the shape of the bird. See what I did there? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Moving on. So once you have size and shape figured out, the next thing to look for are field marks. And uh, this is the sight of the bird. So you look on the head, you look on the wings, you look on the back. You, on the face, there might be a line through the eye. Uh, on the back, there might be uh, a stripe. On the wings, there might be a wing bar. Sometimes we say bird has a mustache or an eyebrow. Right. Those are the, the field marks that you might be looking for. Wait, are you making this stuff up? Wing bar? Eye line? Is that a line across the wing or something? <laughs> and an eye line, really? Sounds like you're telling me that it has a line across the eye. Can't be that easy. Yeah, well, it kind of is that easy, right? If there's a, a bar of color through the wing, that's a wing bar. And you're exactly right. Like, if there's a line through the eye, that's an eye line. Easy. It is that easy? Well, to be fair, it is a little more complicated. Uh, and that's why we need the last one, the site, the habitat. Uh, sometimes you'll have a bunch of birds that look very similar, but each one will live in a different habitat. Uh, sparrows are notorious for this. Some sparrows will live in a prairie, others will live in a wetland. So if you're in a prairie, you get to narrow down the choices to just the type or types that would live there. That's awesome. All right, so why don't you give me the details on that bird you just saw and perhaps we can identify it. Oh, it flew away about 10 minutes ago, but it was brown. <laughs>